Internet Protocol version 6. <clears throat> there are various reasons why someone should migrate to IPv6. Most of the people will say, oh, IPv6 is very important because IPv6 is large in size. IPv4 is just 32 bit. Now, what is the size of IPv6? Exactly. 128 binary. So, IPv6 is 128 binary bit. You can also say IPv6 is 32 exabit, not bytes. Exabit. 32 exabit. <coughs> so, IPv6, the one big reason is the size. We need this because IPv4 is small. Secondly, IPv4 came very long back <clears throat> when the internet was not this big. We can say IPv4 came very long back when the internet doesn't exist, when the internet was not there. Only a few networks, especially, you know, inside the U.S. Army to communicate between the Army uh, <clears throat> from one location to another location. That is how the story begins. That's how the network begins. So those days, 32-bit was more bigger for them. Um, so if you still keep the same 32-bit, then it's not a good idea. When when internet has become bigger like this, the IP address to identify the device in the internet also should have been increased. So according to the standard, they have increased now, and it is version 6, which is 128-bit size, which means after 4, IPv4, IPv5 also have come with 32, sorry, not 30, 35 bit size or something like that. And later they, they, they dropped the idea of IPv5 and now came up with another IPv6 with 128 bit. <clears throat> so IPv6 is, is standard now in the year of around 2000 almost a, a near to 2000. This has become a standard. And uh, when it is standard, you cannot alter. Once it is standard, it is standard. If you want alteration, then it needs to be another version now. Anyway, for IPv6, the another version may not come at all, may not come. So this is more than sufficient all sufficient, more than enough. 128, how I'm saying it is more than enough because it's not just uh, 96 bit more than the previous 32 bit. It is not just 96 times more. It's much more than that. You know, it's much more than that. Uh, how I say much more than that. The number of IP address that you will get is many times more. For example, if with a 32 bit, you get 5 million address. With 33, you will get 10 million address. Just one bit. You will definitely get 10 million. Let me show you that in a, uh, let me prove this to you. If I have three bits, I get seven. If I make just one additional bit, I get 15. You see, it is more than the double. When you add one bit, it's more than double. That's what I was saying. If you have if you have 5 million with 32 bit, you get 10 million with 33. 
that's why you know 35 bit if you would have made 35 bit it would have solved the problem it would have solved the problem but <clears throat> it is not 35 bit now it's 128 bit very very big very very big you see if if someone wants to put the chip in all the head of human being, definitely they need this. Otherwise, it's not possible to put a chip for everyone and control everyone from one place. They need this IPv6. Yeah. And now we laugh, but that is going to happen. If we are not ready in the coming of Lord, then uh, we will be left out. And we will all go through this for sure. It's not a joke, it's very serious. Now, 128 bit is very big. Someone says every square feet of earth can be assigned an IPv6 address. That big is this 128 bit address. Every square feet includes mountain, ocean, land every place in the earth. Every nook and corner can be given an IPv6 address. So it is uh, it is very big. Next, the reason why, again, I have to go to this address. First one we saw size is bigger. We don't have enough IPv4 address. We need this. Secondly, we saw the IPv4 address was developed, was made standard when internet was not this big. So when the internet has gone bigger and with a lot of application-oriented um, network um, connection, application-oriented uh, approach towards the network, all application centric when it is, you know, to buy a to buy ginger, you use application to book an aeroplane, you use an application for everything today. You use an application. So now definitely you need some improvement even in the address. So that's second reason. Third reason is there were there are a lot of wrong approach in uh, in discovering for example if if a router wants to discover another router or a computer wants to discover another computer what do they do they use arp arp is not a problem but the the way that arp resolves the IP address into MAC address is not a good approach. It floods, it broadcasts. ARP uses a layer to broadcast, which is very, very bad. Very easy for someone to know about our computer's unique identity. So that needs to be changed. Secondly, because of ARP, someone can even do man in the middle attack. So this type of vulnerability you have in this old approach, ARP. So IPv6, when you <clears throat> move to IPv6 layer 3 protocol, you got an answer for all this problem. What is it? What is the answer? Instead of broadcast, IPv6 uses multicast. When it uses that multicast address to communicate, only the adjacent router can receive it. For example, 
if I am a router and you are another router, I'll use a multicast in which Robert is mentioned. When I use that multicast address and send the traffic to you, only Robert will be the member of the group, no one else. Others who can't receive the packet, others cannot process the packet, uh, only Robert can receive because that multicast address is to identify only Robert. So I learn what multicast address will speak only to you. And using that multicast address, I send my discovery thing. So that's how, you know, in short, I want to say it uses ICMP version 6. ICMP version 6, which uses a special address called link local address to discover neighbor. So the neighbor discovery is using link local address and multicast IPv6 multicast address and ICMP version 6. So there is no mention about ARP. You know, there is no protocol called ARP. I repeat, I repeat, I repeat. There is no protocol called ARP in IPv6. You can very firmly, with confidence, you can tell someone that there is no ARP in IPv6. Then how the neighbor discovery is done is the next question. The answer is this, using a link local address and the multicast address, ICMP version six discovers neighbor, right? <clears throat> so next is, when you take DHCP, you see, you can have stateful and stateless. Stateless auto config is very famous in IPv6. Optionally, you can enable stateful DHCP. What is that? Stateless, stateful. Stateless is no DHCP server. But you can still have an IPv6 address. No DHCP server. Stateful is you do have DHCP server, but again, that DHCP server is only to give you some additional information, not IP address. Additional information like DNS address, Win server address, so on. So, DHCP, stateful as well as stateless. In IPv4, DHCP is only stateful. It takes the MAC address and then gives an IP address, isn't it? DORA, discover offer, request and acknowledgement. So DHCP stateful is also possible in IPv6, but again, it is only for additional information to be shared, like DNS, Win server, etc. IP addresses are auto generated using stateless auto config. I'll talk about that when we go there later. So, in short, what I want to say is you don't have that bad evil which will always just broadcast earlier. In IPv4, we learned that DHCP will do layer two. What? DHCP will do layer two. <laughs> layer two broadcast. Layer two broadcast is bad. Earlier, DHCP used to do broadcast. 
we don't have any broadcast in IPv6. IPv6 never supports broadcast. Only unicast and complete. Only unicast and multicast. All right. It do support any cast. Right. So there is no broadcast. There is no broadcast, no feature in IPv6 is broadcast using feature. Every feature will either be unicast or multicast. You see that will that that itself will solve a lot of our problem that we have in IPv4. Because of broadcast, thousands of attacks are possible. Now, when you say no broadcast, then you have avoided those thousands of problems. Next. You know, IPv6, the size of the address is 128. So there will be 128 bit source address, 128 bit destination address. In the IP header, you have this one. Whereas in IPv4 header, what is the size of the source? Isn't it? In IPv4, it was only 30 to 32 bit. But in IPv6, you got 120 to 120. Now, what do you think about the size of the IPv6 address? See, IPv4 is only 32 bit source and destination. IPv6 is 128 bit. So, is the size of the IPv4 header smaller compared to IPv6? Answer is no. Why? Why it is no? You see, this is only some additional bits. How many bits? 128 bits. But even though it is 128 bit, it is 32, only 32 bit, the size of IPv6 address is smaller comparatively. How? The IPv6 address is bigger, but the header in total, if you say the size of the header, it's not big. Why? IPv6 just in 2000 it has come. IPv4 ancient days like 70s, 1970s. So on those days, the IPv4 header they used to have. They 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 kept a lot of field, lot of fields uh, allocated for various XYZ purpose. But that XYZ purpose have never come so far. But still, in those headers, those fields are still available, um, consuming the CPU and the size on every device as it gets processed. You see, every IPv4 header, every IPv4 header on every packet needs to get processed. If it is not a simplified header like IPv6, IPv6 header is simplified header. What do I mean by that? It has got just the necessary compartments, fields. Whereas IPv4 header has got a lot of fees, lot of compartments, which is very rarely used. But the compartments are always there. So every time 
every single packet gets processed by the pro by the routing devices by the receiving devices by the sending devices all the time which is an unnecessary cpu utilization let me quickly show you a picture if you see here the field the number of field if you notice you don't have much here in ipv6 the number of fields are less. You see in IPv4, padding, options. What options? What padding? When do we use these options? Very rarely. Protocol. When do we use this? Only when you need OSPF. You will use that field. Otherwise, that field will be having junk values, which is processed by every device, thinking that something is there, but nothing is there. But it's an unnecessary CPU. So the, the headers are too big and too many in IPv4. Whereas IPv6 is a simplified header. See, that's why they have put the word down below basic IPv6 header. What does that mean? It can be also advanced. In, IP, in IPv4, there is no basic, no advanced, always fixed. What do, we, what do I mean by advanced IPv6 header? What I mean is extendable. Whenever you need OSPF, you will add the protocol field. Whenever you need only, you will add it. You understand? Whenever, for, for example, I'm, in, I'm running OSPF. Do I have a field for protocol in this header, in IPv6 header? No. Do I have? Do I have a protocol field in IPv6 header? No. But when I enable OSPF, that field will get added. So for basic, this is what you need, basic. For normal IPv6 communication without any additional protocol, only this is what you need. Whereas in IPv4, all fields will be always there. You may think like what IPv4 has got all fields. It is good only, no? It is good only. No, it is not good. Why? When the protocol field is there, router is going to see, run, 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 run through it, thinking that there should be something there. And all the bits there gives no meaning because there is no protocol enabled. But the time taken to process is wasted now. Right, you see, you go to the immigration office, you show only the necessary document. If you give everything in a big booklet, they'll get uh, very much angry. No, 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 no. Bring the ticket, bring the invitation letter, bring the visa copy. That's all. That's all they, they want. But, you know, IPv4 is like, Visa copy, passport, immigration letter, hotel booking, uh, taxi booking, <laughs> and <coughs> medical report, bank statement, <coughs> hotels, what? Sorry, huh? blood group, all reports, which is not really needed, which may be needed. When you go to next counter, but not in this counter. Likewise, IPv6 header is a reasonable field, only necessary field in IPv6 header. Only the necessary field will be there. Additional fields, if it is needed, anytime it gets added. 
for example, you are doing IPsec. You are doing IPsec VPN. In IPv4, if you do IPsec VPN, tell me where will that IPsec set sits? Hmm? Yeah, 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 yeah. See, you are in you are you are running IPv4 in your network, okay? Have you done IPsec VPN? Side to side VPN? You have not done side to side VPN with GRE? That is what side to side, IPsec with GRE or crypto map. Okay, IPsec with GRE or IPsec with crypto map is what side to side VPN. Now, is that, uh, is that done using IPv4 or IPv6 when you did the lab? IPv4. Now, where are those things? Where are those things, IPv4 related, IPv6 related things added? Sorry, IPv6, no, no, not IPv6. Uh, uh, IPv4, IPsec related information, where it is carried? No. No. See, even though we have these many fields, IPv4 still not complete. So there was an additional layer called ESP or AEH getting added. ESP is encapsulation security payload. If you capture one IPsec packet, if you capture one uh, packet uh, that goes in between two sites, you will see a new layer called ESP. See the drawback of IPv4. IPv4 says we got a lot of fields, anything can be carried, but when you say, can you please carry IPsec? It says, no, sorry, sir, you don't have. So you add additional layer called ESP layer, ESP. Whereas in IPv6, when you enable IPsec, a new layer gets added to it. Sorry, not new layer, new field. New field. Do you understand the difference? I'm trying to give you the difference between IPv4 header and IPv6 header. Do you understand what I'm saying? Even though Even though we have too many fields in IPv4, it couldn't satisfy the requirements. For example, if I enable IPsec, there is going to be an additional layer called ESP layer. So this ESP cannot fit into any of this. Even though many of these fields are not used, it has got a lot of junk values. Those junk value fields cannot be used by IPsec. It needs a separate layer. Whereas in IPv6, if you enable IPsec, there is going to be an additional field inside the same header, not separate layer. You got it and you know this already but let me re remind you maybe I, I because you have not undergone IPsec IPv6 class you might have not understood when I said that segment routing when you enable in IPv4 it uses the MPLS header whereas in IPv6 it uses one field called SIG ID. 
So there is no need for additional layer in IPv6 and you enable segment routing. In short, what I want to say is in IPv6, there is no need for new layer. Always only seven layers you will see because the IPv6 header itself is extendable. Whereas IPv4 header, even though it has got too many fields, it is incomplete. As a result, when you enable MPLS, you need MPLS layer. When you want to enable segment routing, it will use MPLS layer. When you want to do IPsec VPN, it needs ESP layer. You understood? Like this, we have various reasons why I should migrate to IPv6. IPv4 is incomplete. IPv4 is um, not, not to the mark for today's IT advancement. <clears throat> That's why we need IPv6, right? We'll stop here.